Well, we're back on the topic of Hot Wheels. Hot, hot Wheels just right after F1. Yeah. That's right. Blank. Well, accessories always add a little pizzazz to any outfit. Same uh, thing for a car. And yeah, well, we mm -hmm. take a look at what, what kind of car accessories raises temperatures here. This Lancer GSR 1600 is none other than the winner of the 1974 Safari Rally, which was a 6,000 kilometer ordeal that was contested on some of the harshest places in the African continent. And if you feel like owning some of these cool stuff, that's not quite possible because they are no longer manufactured in the market. But you can buy a new car and dress it up the way it looks exactly like it is on the vintage car. And what's more, you can even slap your name on it. We have um, our Evolution 10 mm -hmm. here. This is our latest okay. performance car. Mm -hmm. We also dress up the vehicle with okay. uh, uh, performance parts okay. as well as uh, uh, body kits, mm -hmm. side skirts, okay. you know, front air dam, uh -huh. uh, oh, side okay. mirror. Side mirror. Yep. So this is also modified. Yes, this is uh, a dress up, dress oh, okay. up part. For the spoiler, right? is it more for cosmetic purpose or does it really improve the performance of the car? Yeah, I mean definitely they are especially effective when they are traveling above 100 km per hour. Okay. So there's a lot of customers who feel that uh, when they go to North South Expressway, uh -huh. they do feel that the car is more stable right. with a rear spoiler. Okay. Things like tinted glass, yeah. yep. is it a very common request? Yeah. Actually, uh, because of our weather, this is very popular. Mm -hmm. And what about the deflector? The yeah, this, uh, uh, this is the wind visor. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's the uh, most popular accessory, mm -hmm. especially when it's uh, raining mm -hmm. or the glass is a mm -hmm. bit uh, for forced up. Okay. They actually lower it okay. to this level mm -hmm. so that there's a bit of mm -hmm. warm air right. circulation. Okay. You know, customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether male or female, mm -hmm. we can see a trend that they like to stick up their cars. You can okay. see from here, okay. a lot of customers okay. actually ask us to stick up uh -huh. their cars yeah, exactly this is, like this. Looks like the seats are pretty unusual as well. Yeah, actually yeah. these seats yeah. are fitted locally. It's actually a body-hugging uh, mm. sport seats, oh. frequently used in uh, race to make sure that the driver is uh, very okay. uh, secure. We have a really cool child seat, yes. isn't it? Yes. In fact, yeah. they use some of their um, experience in mm -hmm. making uh, Recaro sport seats okay. and to make the child seat. Wow. Yeah. And what about the knock, the shift knock? Yeah, the Has, shift knock mm. also is a dress-up part. It's more ergonomic, so people are able okay. to actually uh, engage the gear shift okay. easier okay. and also for aesthetic reason. There is a uh, trip meter mm -hmm. and uh, of course we have a Bluetooth. You can okay. actually stream uh, music through the Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. If you compare this to the standard car, mm -hmm. this car actually okay. quite a lot of things have changed. Right. <laughs> yeah, include the spoiler, okay. the rim from Japan. Okay. Uh, okay. It's very lightweight, very good for cornering okay. you know, and also the kind of tyres that you use. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, we actually use uh, performance tyres. Yeah. Right. And also like the start button. You, know, you can actually start mm -hmm. the car by just pressing the button, start, okay. stop. Yeah. It's a scarf plate. Yeah, scarf plate. It actually okay. lights up when you open oh, the door. Oh, okay. Yeah. So light. this is light? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it comes with the mm -hmm. stock bar. Okay, the stock bar is also, it can be added on. Yes. Yeah. This is more a uh, dress up part. Okay. Just to, for the engine hood, uh -huh. you know, okay. to cover it, yeah. So do guys actually like gather in front of the bonnet and look up for these accessory parts? Yeah, they do. I mean, oh. um, there's never enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you <laughs> improve certain things, you always want okay. to add more. Okay, yeah. how much uh, do your customers typically spend on dress-up parts? Typically, a customer will spend uh, between 1,000 to 5,000. Mm. So would you say that this trend has become even more prominent you know, after the F1 fever? Definitely, yes. Okay. Uh, Singaporeans are now more exposed to motorsports mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and their knowledge yeah. on cars, mm -hmm. you know, on uh, performance racers, car, yeah, on okay. racers, uh -huh. on what's happening around the world uh -huh. in terms of motorsports is getting very, uh, very good. So maybe they have gotten like, some inspirations uh, from yeah, like, TV shows, Pin My Right, yeah. or like, some video ga yeah. games, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, also, I think mm -hmm. typically the customer base mm -hmm. is getting younger, mm -hmm. so I think they definitely want to look mm -hmm. sporty. Okay. So they also want to uh, mm -hmm. dress and feel okay. like you know, uh, rally oh, driver. Shit, uh, yeah. So it's a social activity altogether. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. You can All see right. from the number of car forums in Singapore mm -hmm. that it's definitely something that mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Singaporeans enjoy mm -hmm. talking about.
But of it is one thing that's for sure. A motorsport like that, or motorsports in general, are just really expensive. Yeah, yeah. Yes. it's a rich man's thing. Yeah, you yeah, have to pay a lot to be in it. But mm. one of the things I realised that people really gloss over is the fact that tyres are so important. And tyres are these dull, grey things. Yeah, black no one things. looks at tyres. It's not at all, nothing man. to do with dressing yeah. up. So, are there any misconceptions about tyres? Definitely. Uh, definitely. Um, some most people feel that actually tyres are just tyres, so they basically do the job of just carrying the vehicle. But then again, there are different tyres. Some some actually um, are better in the wet. Some are better in the dry. Some provides a lot more grip. There's like soft and harder compounds, and uh, even like for drifting we actually require a tyre that has a lot of traction mm -hmm. because we want a lot of grip. But uh, most people, they have the misconception that you know, for drifters, you want tyres that actually don't really grip so you can drift. Yeah, but that's not that true. That makes you lose control. Yeah, yeah correct. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, how yeah. fast do you go through your tyres? Do you like, okay, chuck your, your, your set of tyres you after a drifting competition? 15 minutes to half an hour. Yeah, oh. that's about <laughs> it. Yeah. How much do you spend on your tyres? One set of tyres. Yeah, one uh, set. Normally, a set would cost you about 1,000, 1,000 plus to 2,000, depending that's on the size. That's right. Yeah, but we are, we are covered by Goodyear okay. and Binter, so... The good guys cool. at Goodyear? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> good men of so Goodyear. Good. Yeah, well, thanks so much for being on our show and for casting some light, mm -hmm. at least on tyres. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Tires. Thank, thank you very much. I mean, know how expensive tyres are. Okay, I, well, mine are slated to be changed, yeah. actually. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, lucky one. Thanks, thanks for being on our show. But before <laughs> we go, here's the Razorism of the day, and it's from the late iconic actor Paul Newman, who died last Saturday, and he's very much a racer himself. Yeah. Paul once said, Racing is the best way I know to get away from all the rubbish of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night and take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.